Hey, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I've got tons of palettes to unload. This is the first of my 11 palettes in two cases that I'll be unloading. And so I'll give you the specs on this and uh, let's see, get into it and see what's in here. All right, so I have got tons of palettes to unload. Let me give you the specs on this one. Um, this is a bulk.com palette, uninspected returns, general merchandise, ba bath and bedding, kitchen, appliance, Fisher mounting, Nintendo. So I'm super excited to see what that kind of thing is. It could just be a tiny game, could be a system, who knows. Retails at $2,562. Now let me explain the numbers. They're a little bit different than normal simply because uh, if you've been watching my channel at all, you know that I've gone and picked up palettes at the bulk.com warehouse. That's not a normal thing a customer can do. Um, it, I'm kind of the guinea pig to see if that's a possibility we can do in the future. So let me give you my specs. I paid $350 for this particular palette. And because I rented a truck, stayed in a hotel, paid for gas, all that, my shipping averaged out to be $76 for this palette, which makes my total $426. If you were to buy this palette, it would have been $350 plus $200 to ship it to you, plus your tax, so your total would have been $550 plus tax. So my total would have been $4.75 per item. Yours would have been $6 per item. So hopefully they can get it figured out so we can pick stuff up. There's 90 items kind of looks like a 96, but 90 items in this palette. And as you can see, if you want to scan over, I have tons of palettes to unload. So look for joyous palette unboxings in the future. You guys will be so excited. There's actually a few of these palettes that have about 500 items each, but we're starting with this one, which is 90. And so let's go on, go on and get into it and we'll see what's in here. So I actually have a video going out that um, shows them loading these exact pallets onto my box truck that I rented. Um, and so if you haven't seen that one, check it out. I'll try to tag it at the end of this one, this video. All right, let me squeeze through here. I'm a little snug in here because of all the extra pallets. So I already see some Paw Patrol stuff, which is awesome. Paw Patrol is really popular with preschoolers right now. So, alrighty. So we, this is uninspected returns. I don't know if I said that, but um, let's just get into it and see what we got going on. All right, we have a vase. Looks like a vase or large jug vase. So yes, that's exactly what it is. It's is that a glass. Yeah, it is. Wow. I'm shocked that it came. You know what? Um, we actually were told down at the bulk warehouse by one of the packers. Her name is Terry. She packs them and she said they actually started putting glass in the pallets rather than the boxes simply because a pallet is lifted usually by a pallet jack or a forklift and not jostled around as much as regular cases. And so you may find more glass items in a pallet, but this came fully intact, which I'm shocked. But I it definitely would not have come intact if it would have come in a case because, you know, it gets tossed onto your porch and all that stuff. So Paw Patrol uh, travel suitcase looks like it's in good working condition. Looks clean, brand new. Let's see. I don't see any tags on it, but um, yeah, this has never been used. It's still got all the warranty stuff and the little do not eat little protectant mm -hmm. thing. It's got a zipper in here as well to put underneath. So that's in good shape. All right, another backpack. These backpacks sell really well for me. I sell these on Poshmark. So if you're looking for any of my backpacks, they'll either be on Poshmark, but this one has a nice barcode. So I'm going to try to put it on Amazon. You know me, Amazon is my number one. All right, what is this? This is a personal circular fan oh that's what it looks like little fan kind of handy if you have a desk coffee maker um it has this missing but i just saw it fall it's down in the bottom of the pallet now so i'll eventually get it it's a little flap that goes here so um you know once i get that this looks fully intact Really nice coffee maker with a nice, it's a Mr. Coffee coffee maker. So this would definitely be something I could sell. Um, not on Amazon. Uh, this would be probably an eBay. If I don't break it in the process. 
All right, Ziploc storage bags. These are those like vacuum uh, sealing ones. So obviously the box has been crushed in here, but looks like it's in decent condition. So this will probably be a Shopify or an eBay sale simply because the box is kind of messed up. Um, so this is a big microfiber blanket. Looks like it just kind of came unfolded. So I don't know if I can refold it and then I would probably poly bag it, but it's not dirty. It's totally clean. Um, so it's a micro plush bank blanket, incredibly if for a full or a queen bed. So very, very, or fuller, yeah, fuller queen. So it's a very big size one. Not sure what this is. This looks like just a decorative wall hanging. So you can hang it like this or like this or like this or like this and you'd have it right every, every which way. Look, it has little hooks on the back. So it is, it's a wall hanging. Let's see if we can find more parts of it. Maybe it's a set. All right. Evutech phone case. Uh, oh, this is one of the little thingies that snap onto the back of your phone case. I don't know if all the parts are there, but I'll be looking. Oh, here's a shave cream kit. Those are fully brand new and intact. Those look like something you'd see on the shelf, like around Christmas time, um, dirt for gifts and stuff here. This is definitely target. Um, I recognize those stickers, but there's a tablet case. Here is some little plastic glasses. They're champagne flutes, but they're plastic, I believe. Yeah, they're plastic. Bob uh, box containers all boogered up. So those will probably end up going in the trash. Um, I don't see a lot of, there's some more of these shave kits, a bunch of these shave kits. They're like the old school shave kits. Some more, I'm going to start stacking them over here. Oh, here's a cool thing. Uh, I actually had someone ask me for some of the LOL um, stuff early, uh, before. And so I'm hoping that maybe I can sell that on Amazon because it's fully intact and not broken. So I'm hoping that that's a possibility for me. <laughs> just one of them fell on the floor. He just tipped over. I'm a terrible stacker. All right. So here is I'm textured divine color peel and stick wall surface covering so basically if you want your wall to look like it's brick that's what that is it's basically a peel and stick you stick it on a drywall and now you look textured so i've got three of them so i'm hoping this would be a good thing to sell either on my shopify store if i can find it on amazon that would be miraculous oh my word now there's a water jug for you 24 hours cold, leak proof. That thing's massive. How big is that? Good for coffee. Good for coffee. Yeah, you know me and my addiction to coffee. 72 ounces. All right, what is this? Random piece of fabric. I don't know what this is. A scarf maybe? It has this symbol. So let me, let's zoom in on this symbol. You guys tell me, maybe Ava and Viv. It kind of looks like a scarf. Um, so I know Ava and Viv is a Target brand and I've seen some Target things in here. So I'm thinking maybe that's um, what it is. So let me know if you've seen that before. Here's some more shave kits. I'm going to stack them nicely over there. All right, a Black & Decker toaster. So box clearly been opened. So uninspected returns, you're always concerned about that. Um, but to me, if you look inside, it looks brand new. So I don't think this has ever been used. Um, so tested. probably test it. Yeah, I will test it and uh, make sure that it works and then sell it probably in like new condition. All right, this is a hammock. Hammock in a bag. Comes with a barcode, so that's awesome. Here's some pom-pom garland to decorate anyone's room. Let's see what else we got in here. This is an air fryer. Okay, so last time I got an air fryer, it was in a salvage box and I really wanted an air fryer and wanted to keep it. And this one, uh, because it's in uninspected returns, there's a high, more, much higher probability that this works. So it's a 3.5 liter air fryer. So I'm definitely going to um, test that out. And if it works, I'm keeping it. 
Did the air fryer on the salvage box work? No, the air fryer on the salvage box did not work. It looked brand new. Everything was fantastic. Everything was fantastic. And, um, and so, um, basically, uh, when I plugged it in, it stayed on and I was like, yes, it works. And then as soon as you press the like start button or whatever, it just pew, turned off. And so it only worked for about two seconds. All right. We've got, let's see, a heated micro plush throw. So it's a heated blanket. That's fancy. Ooh, here's some shoes. Someone just used regular tape, it looked like, on this. Oh, a cute pair of little sandals. Five and a halfs. I'm excited to see this because I do really well on shoes. So these will probably uh, almost automatically be on my Poshmark store. Because um, Universal Thread, I usually cannot find Universal Thread on the Amazon uh, Marketplace. So, uh, looks like this is a, let me see. It's basically a duvet cover or coverlet for your bed, um, like a big quilt for your bed. It's obviously, um, I can sell this on eBay in the condition that it's in, but not on Amazon. So, got some blankets. Um, chocolate fountain. That's kind of cool. So, let me just open this because there's no tape on it here and see what kind of condition we've got just right off the bat. So we've got, so uninspected returns. I like to look at this. Looks like all of these items are here. We're just gonna take a glance. Yeah, I don't think, oh no. There's clearly been chocolate in here. So this has been used. So uninspected returns, you're gonna get some things that are brand new and then some things that are not. You know, cause clearly those shoes, brand new, they've never been used. Uh, but clearly this fountain has been used, so. If you're interested in anything that I pull out of a box, please let me know. Just shoot me an email at hookedonpickin.com. Um, here's a cute little uh, blanket. It's a blanket with a hood. A little knitted blanket with a hood. It's got little shark teeth on the front of it, it looks like. All right. Let's see. We've got another sham, uh, pillow sham. It's like a velvety pillow sham. So a lot of fabric items this go around. Random towel. I wonder if I'll find the rest of the set. Ooh, look at this cool backpack. A little spaceship backpack. This looks like something a teen girl would probably use for a purse. Um, maybe a little boy that's going to preschool. So I know my daughter loves little kind of funky themed, old school themed stuff. Here's some more shave cream kits. They're just kind of peppered in here. Got a few more of these. I wonder if my friend Terry that I met down at the warehouse actually put these in there or if it was one of the other workers. All right. Honeywell Power Air Circulator. This is the exact fan that I actually have in my bedroom. It works great. We've had it for a lot of years. So um, this looks like it's in, it's, it's been opened because this seal has been broken, but this is all still wound the same together. So I think it's new. So I'll definitely test it, make sure it's in good working condition. Make sure if I decide to send it, I don't think I'll send that to Amazon Warehouse, but. All right, here's a cool bed set. This looks brand new. So like I said, you get some brand new items and some that are, and you can tell this is probably a shelf pull because it had the clearance sticker from Target. And so the only reason that it ended up in liquidation is it, they clearance it down to the bottom barrel price and it wouldn't move and so it got sent to liquidation. So I'll set that over there. Here's a little auto rock and play sleeper for a baby. So I'm going to go through on my second video and go ahead and scan a lot of these things and see what they're worth. Let me show you the back of this box. Look at the top. It's been cut open. So I'm not sure what used to be there or if it was damaged. Uh, it looks like there was a shipping label there and instead of just ripping the shipping label or covering it, they decided to just cut it off the box. I have no idea why. Why people do some things. Who knows? All right, so there's a baby sleeper little thing. I'll check and make sure all the parts are in that. All right, this is a French rod. So it looks like it's probably a curtain rod of some sort. There's another one here. This is a double 
threshold double curtain rod. And I got another one in here. This one is another gray French rod. So we got some curtain rods here. I'm gonna set these up on top of my other pallets here. Uh, this one says it's gray too, so that's actually a set. So it might be a good idea for me to just sell those as a set on my Amazon or on my Shopify store. Okay, this has clearly been opened. Free TV, the free way, free digital AT. HD, so it's basically something you plug in so that you can get free TV, I guess. But this is a, all boogered up and been opened. All right, here's a Razor scooter. Let's look at this condition. This one looks new, yep. That's clearly been never opened until now. <laughs> but it's a brand new item. Never been used, the, the wheels are clean, all that kind of stuff. So I gotta get it back closed. All right, so that's in good shape. So I'm getting a few nuggets in here. Oh my goodness, this thing is heavy. Didn't look heavy. Oh, oh my word. I kid you not, this thing is weighs a bazillion pounds. Oh, it's a plush weighted blanket. So basically, you know, if you get cold in bed, you want a real, real heavy, heavy blanket. There you go. Like literally this thing. Okay. Stay tuned in my second video. I'm actually going to get my scale out and we're going to put it on the scale and see how much thing this way, how much this weighs. Cause it literally is heavy. So we'll weigh it in video number two. So, so, um, I'll set it over here and we're going to weigh it and see how much it weighs. I want you guys to guess in this video, how much it weighs in the comment section below. And then we'll go ahead and I'll do the reveal in video number two. All right, here is a, oh, a PlayStation Pro PS4 set of headphones. Um, box has been opened. Let's see what the condition of the headphones are like, or if they're even in here. There has been items I've gotten where there's literally not been anything in there. Nope, they're in there. They're Turtle Beach. Yeah, they're all contained and in there. So it's got the microphone on it and everything. You have to test it. Yeah, we'll test it out. We have a PS4, so we'll be able to test that out. Um, and then uh, I still haven't found Nintendo yet, so we'll see. All right. A powerless, smokeless grill. No, not a powerless. A power smokeless grill. If it was powerless, it'd be useless. All right, so a smokeless grill. That's kind of cool. Makes me want to keep it, but I have too much in my kitchen already. All right. Okay, I'm never gonna pick that big box. There's a huge box down here. So, oh my goodness, we'll eventually get there, but I'll have to cut the box deep. Okay, uh, an oyster blender that every person who ever gets married gets. I don't know what the obsession with buying a blender for a newly mar married couple is, but everybody gets a blender that always looks like this. All right, and then let's see. I'm gonna walk around this side to reach some of these things. This is a tailored bed skirt, but clearly been opened because the packaging is all there's another oyster blender in there. Let's see what this is. See if I can even pick it up. All right. You can see why these things go in a pallet. This is, I have no idea what this is. Mystery. The mystery. Should we open it now? I'm gonna wait till the end of the video. We're gonna open that box at the end of the video. Guess what it is, all right? Let's see what it is, all right? So we're gonna see how much this weighs in the second video. We'll see how much that one is. All right, this one's another mystery, but we're gonna open this one right now. So these look to me like things that were probably mailed to a customer and they just didn't want and then so they ended up coming back. This is some kind of metal Let's see, 
Fisher. It's a metal detector. It is. It's a metal detector. It's clearly been used, but I wonder if it still works. Shoot. Let me see. Does it have all the cords? I don't see the battery thingy. It uses a couple of AA batteries, so we'll have to test that. Um, let me know if you guys want a metal detector, if it works. Throw all this back in here so we don't lose anything. Metal detector. I know you resellers out there go out metal detecting. I know there's some of you out there. Find those treasures. Find them treasures. I find them in liquidation boxes. You can find them other ways. Okay, we're going to have to open this box deeper because... I'm a shorty and can't reach what's in here. Okay. Make sure I don't cut into anything that's in here. All right. So as you can see, There's a pack and play in here. A Graco pack and play. Ugh. This thing is heavy. All right. A pack and play. Is there a good picture of it? Here's, there's a good picture right here on the top. So it looks to me like it's been shipped and just the box is a little bit beat up, but it looks like it's all fully intact because I don't see where it's even been opened. It still has the factory plastic ceiling on it. So. Pack and play. All right. <laughs> There's always some little tchotchke at the bottom of these pallets. So let's see what's in here this time. You want some uh, rulers that say be mine? They're like Valentine rulers. If you look at the side of them. There are candles. These are, yes, these are all candles. Blue polka dot candles. Oh, is that what they are? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, like if I would read with my mm -hmm. eyeballs, then I could read that they're menorah candles. Imagine that. Must be because I have my glasses on today. My oh, contacts can't read today. All right. There we go. Now I have a ramp. Destructive. All right. We have, um, this looks like some sort of a tablecloth shower wrap. Um, one size fits most, so it's kind of like a towel. Um, a Cuisinart air fryer, but it kind of almost looks like a toaster oven. Let me make some space here and I'll bring it up closer so you guys can see it. I should be able to fit it up there now. So obviously I can't send this to Amazon because the box has absolutely been beat up. So if you want to kind of scan around and show some of the damage on the top of the box, but that's something I'll definitely have to inspect and see if it works, but I don't see why I can't put it on eBay. I'll do calculated shipping for sure because it would weigh so much. Um, jar of rocks, anyone? Better than a box of rocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they sent you a jar of rocks. At least I'm dumber than a jar of rocks. I'm dumber than a, instead of dumber than a box of rocks. How much are they selling a jar of rocks? For? Let's see. It just says terrarium filler. Terrarium filler. Yeah. It doesn't have a price on it. Very good. I'm dumber than a jar of rocks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. What else? Oh, you picked a pallet with a jar of rocks. All right. Oh, wait. I think I saw the lid. This is cool. I don't mind. This is weird. Excuse me. I'm going to Is it glass? <laughs> no, it's plastic. <laughs> well, well, what do we have? <laughs> That's creepy. It's motion activated, I believe. Try me. 
It's some sort of a Halloween something or other. Yes. Okay. Uh, I found the lid to the jar of rocks. Very good. Does it have a price tag on the jar of rocks? Yes! Hey, shush you. Hold on. For the jar of rocks? Creepy eye you need to turn off. I'll put the eye in my office. You should. There you are. Put it in the church office. Okay, I turned it off. Shh. Okay. $9.99 for, for a jar of rocks. $10 for a jar of rocks. There God you go. America. You can sell a jar of rocks for 10 bucks. <laughs> All right, here is a silverware organizer. Here is 20 sticker, 20 stickers each with five, 20 sticker boxes each with five stickers to and from. They look like they're probably um, Valentine's. Oh yeah, see here, this is what they look like. So this would be a good party favor oh, for yeah. like Star Wars parties and stuff. Valentine's sticker boxes. So they're basically, they're boxes with a bunch of stickers in them. All right, here's some more Valentine favor boxes. Here's your wedding gift for the next wedding you go to right here. Cause you know, you gotta give them a blender that they'll never use. All right, let's see. This is a, Big bendy flexible tripod. So mm. it's a tripod um, that has a little flexible weird legs. Cool. All right. Here is a Hamilton Peach uh, single serving coffee brewer. It's clearly been opened, but I'll open it up and see if it's been used um, and test it. So it's a single cup coffee maker. Really? Oh, this is Poshmark worthy if ever I saw it. Look at that. I'm not going to let my daughters in here because they'll for some reason feel they need, tell me that they have the need for another backpack or bag. And I think they've got about 30 in their room between the two of them. So. Multi-cooker. It's basically looks like a crock pot, three quart crock pot. Um, it looks, it's a pressure cooker, crock pot, mini cooker. So it looks kind of like a pressure cooker, but it's also a crock pot. Rice cooker, slow cooker, and a steamer. That's cool. Three quart. All right, almost there. A Hamilton Beach, one-handed dispensing coffee maker. Mm. We have some like this at church. I think we have a larger ones than this, but we have some like this at church. Don't forget, I'm gonna open this mystery box in a little bit. Tell me what you think it is. Just throw them, throw them thing, throw them comments up there. All right, this looks cool. It's a Bluetooth clip. All right, I'm not sure what this says. 10 hours of playtime, it's a speaker where you can clip it. It's got a guy carabiner on the top of it. So you can clip it onto anything and then play music. That might be something I want to keep. Um, see, that's the hardest part. I want to keep everything. This is a Get Unlimited Talk to Text Data Access Cricket Wireless Phone. So let's see, is it even in there? Yep, it's an actual cell phone in there. Bam. I know, that's awesome. That could be your drug phone. <laughs> Yeah, this will be my burner phone your for all the, for all my phone, nefarious phone. business that I do. <laughs> yeah, that I have the burner phone. Call the Cricket Wireless phone. All right, Hoverball features safety safely bounces off furniture and walls because that's what I want. Someone <laughs> kicking this soccer looking ball inside my house and breaking everything. So glides on any smooth surface, floats on the cushion of air, runs on four AA batteries. That's actually kind of neat. So it's probably air powered, I would imagine. Here is um, sips and straw lids for the um, canning jars. So if you have canning jars, these are little lids that go on top of them to so make them in cups. You need to give these to your dad. He always used drinks out of those canning jar mugs. All right. Looks like we've got a really nice pair of scissors, some more of those sticker boxes, um, a random light bulb 
at the bottom of the pallet because that's where I would put the random light bulb. Let's see. If is it? Oh, it's a cool looking light bulb. Cool looking light bulb. I wonder if it works. That'd be awesome. We'll have to test it. That's a neat looking light bulb. All right. Where am I going to put this where I don't break it? Because I'm notorious. Glass base on the edge of the table. On the edge of the table? Teetering, dang, yeah, it's not teetering. Okay. It's teetering. <laughs> All right. It's a wonder I don't break it. Oh, here's the little coffee maker cover that I was looking for. It's perfect. All right. We have a, f boy, that's a fun looking bedding set for a little girl's room. That's super cute. Did you get a good view of it? See how it's kind of fluffy. Mm -hmm. Got it. It's for a twin bed. All right, let's see what else we got in here. An air mattress, a queen size air mattress that we'll have to probably test and see if, cause it's clearly been open. So we'll test it and make sure it holds air. Um, and then try to get it back in the box. All right. Let's see, we've got more of these um, heart rulers in here. Menorah candles. Let's see what else is in here. I'm just going to grab a bunch of this stuff so I don't have to keep Coming back in and out of here. Windshield wipers. Need some windshield wipers. I did get ungated in the automotive section, so I might be able to sell those. And then here's a heart activity kit where you sew these together. Here is a digital tire gauge, but that's been opened. I don't, I've not been a big fan of the condition. Unexpected returns, I get a lot of stuff that is new and I found a few new things, but a lot of these have just been opened and I'm hoping they're in good condition to sell, but they're not Amazon worthy, which is a little bit discouraging to me, but that's all right. I'm gonna see what I can get. Tough watch bumper. So basically it's for one of those, um, it's a bumper guard for your watch. This is a, uh, oh, it's a curtain sham. So two shams for curtains. Um, I don't know what size they are. And then more sticker boxes. I think that was everything I brought out. And then let's see what else. L down to the last nitty gritty things. This is ready to play boxer. Um, a it's a robot. You know what? I never did find anything Nintendo. Maybe it's in the mystery box. Maybe it is in the mystery box. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I, this might be the Nintendo. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. So I've got another one of those felt things. I've got a little scarf. Wonder Shop scarf. Um, let me see. A pink scarf. And then this, I'm not sure. This is like a little bib thing. Oh, it's a tree skirt. Looks another um, curtain thing. And then this says um, Nintendo Switch. So it's a Pokeball that goes with a, a Nintendo Switch. So there's my Nintendo. Sad face. Want, want, want. Maybe there's a giant Nintendo thing in here. All right, let's see. So we've got everything done. Let's see what's in the mystery box. Let me move, let me move some of these smaller items and then I can set it down so my shortness can reach it. All right. Okay. It's just drum roll, please. You know, I'm trying to increase the anticipation of what you think it is. Please, if you have not guessed yet, I can look and see, okay, how far into the video did they actually guess? What do they think the mystery box is? And do you think it's worth money? Do you think it's worth money? It doesn't weigh very much. It's been duct taped back together. Duct tape on it. <laughs> hmm. So it's a high quality packaging we got going on here. Good gravy. I'm never going to get into it because of the duct tape. You could open the other end. What? Stop. <sighs> Boy, that. Okay. 
<laughs> listen, listen. I'm dumber than a jar of rocks, okay? <laughs> dumber than a jar of rocks. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get comments on how, how, how dumb I am in this video. All right. It is, dun 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 dun, drum roll please. It's a mini vacuum, I think. What in the, detector. it's another metal detector. Sweet. We could, we could metal detect. Go metal detect. I know we can be like the, the, the old couple on the beach, both metal detecting. It'll be awesome. Look, it's all in here. This is the actual original box that this goes in because it's got like little slots for the poles and let's see what kind of metal detector it is. Discovery, it's a Discovery 1100, 1, 1100. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I'll have to look and see if all the pieces are here because there's a Comment few more. Comment if you want Heather to go metal detecting. Comment if you want me to do a video of, of us metal detecting together. Comment. I shall go metal detecting. It's starting to get warm here. I will metal detect the snot out of the beach. <laughs> All those beaches in Southern Illinois. <laughs> All them big, huge beaches in Southern Illinois in the middle of the country. We have the Mississippi River. We do. Ooh, I don't know if I want to go near there. <laughs> All right, so hopefully this has been helpful to see what you can get in a bulk.com palette of uninspected returns. That is general merchandise, bath and bedding, kitchen appliances, Fisher Bounty, and yes, one Nintendo piece. We'll have to see if that's worth anything. So I'm going to check condition on a lot of this stuff, and then I will get back to you on a second video and kind of go through a lot of these things, check condition, and then see how much we can make. We'll see how much money we can make on this jar of rocks. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.